Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to edit PDF files using Canva. So I'm using the free account here, not the pro or anything, so there's nothing to buy. So you could just go to your account and go to your uploads and then upload a PDF, or the easier way is just to go to canva.com slash PDF dash editor and choose upload your PDF. And I'm going to do this guy here. All right, so now it has it automatically in a project. And if we get rid of this thing here. Okay, so you can see you have your individual pages, like so. And you, know, you can zoom in. And if you want to do things like move the page up or down, lock a page, duplicate a page, let's say we want this one twice, we could do that. Let's say we want to move this one down, we could do that. If you want to delete a page, you could do that, or add a new blank page, like so. Then, of course, you could add all your elements like usual. And if you're wondering where it put this file, so if you go to your uploads, you're going to notice it's not in images, videos, or audio. But if you go to your projects, it puts it under designs. And then you could, you, know, you could go here and edit design or move it or delete it, that type of thing. All right, so now let's do a little editing. So let's zoom in on this guy here. So you, know, you could click on stuff to highlight it. You can make a link out of it. You could change the font. So let's change this to something a little drastic. Change the color. And of course you have effects and animations, which you're not going to do for a PDF, obviously. Uh, position and so on. And of course you could, you could edit the text as needed. And same with images. If you click on it, you have your options to copy, duplicate, delete. Uh, change the alignment, add a link, replace the background, apply colors to the page. Same with text. Not as many options, but you can duplicate it and delete it. So let's change this image here by deleting it. And let's go to the uploads. And I have this new VPN icon, so we'll just kind of put this one in position here. Like so. All right, so after you make all your changes, you could just simply go to the download button and you'll have some options here, PDF standard or PDF for printing. And of course you could save it as a JPEG if you, you know, want to do something like that. Uh, you could flatten the PDF layers first, include any notes you put in there, uh, all pages or certain pages, and just click on download. You have a link to share it with others too if you want to copy that and paste it in somewhere else. Okay, so it should put it in your downloads by default. So there it is here. Let's see what we got. All right, let's scroll down and see what we got here. So here's our duplicate page. And here's the one we changed. So we got our uh, red text, our exclamation points, our new icon there. And we got that blank page that we inserted. And so on, just like that. So you can see it's pretty easy to do, and it's a free way to edit PDF files, and it does a pretty good job. So like I said, you might just go to this uh, page here, which I'll put in the description, upload it, make your changes, download it, and then you'll be good to go. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.